Hurricane Irma. The most powerful hurricane ever recorded. Shut down Disney World today, along with the rest of Orlando, Florida. To recap, I guess, you know, we went to five stores and none of them had water. None of them had canned food that would have been good non-perishable food to have during a hurricane. Uh, me and my team are being activated to help run a rideout shelter. Psychologically, it takes a toll even before the storm gets here. So now all that's left, now that we've got everything packed up, good to go, it's time to go to the shelter. It's about 11 a.m. on Sunday, September 10th, the day that Hurricane Irma is supposed to impact my area. I've been in the shelter for 24 hours now. I worked from 11 a.m. yesterday to 6 a.m. this morning because I'm a location manager for this rideout shelter. My job is just to make sure everybody's still doing well, make sure they get food and supplies. We got plenty of water, we got plenty of food. I mean, it's, it's work for sure, but it's, it's a lot of fun. My staff is in like super good spirits. They're having a great time. The people that are here seem to be doing okay. All a little nervous, of course. Right now, it's still pretty calm. It's been lightly raining for probably 24 hours at this point. It's just been a nice little drizzle. Very, very cloudy, but no strong weather yet. We get straight bored sometimes. Rice, the floor is lava. Five, four, three, two. That does not count. It is on the floor. It's not the floor. What is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Abuse. Abuse. This is Brandon. Brandon's helping work this ride out location. So far, so good. Who's the coolest ride out location manager you've ever met? You. That's right, me. You heard it here, folks. Also, you should meet one of the coolest members of my staff. Celine. <laughs> This is Lexi. Don't, you'll break my camera. <laughs> You're the worst boss ever! You heard it here, folks. The worst. Daniel, you wanna be on my vlog? Of course, hello. Oh, hey, Daniel. Hi. Hey, James, you wanna be on my vlog? Tell me something about you. About me? Yeah. Um, I'm tired and my back hurts from sleeping on the floor. How old are you? Uh, 20. Oh, that's not a good sign. Trayvon's actually working here as well. Being weird, because that's what Trayvon is. And I hope he sees this and he knows that's how I feel about him. What you doing here, Bryce? Uh, just clearly, um, tracking this weather. Why do you have a controller? What? You know, helps me track the weather faster. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, I've been playing games this whole time. I'm glad I'm not in Naples, Florida right now because they're in the middle of hurricane weather. We're not there yet. We are just in the tropical storm portion. Service has issued a hurricane warning for Seminole County, Florida. To be safe, aggressively prepare for the potential of extensive wind impacts. Dangerous and life-threatening wind is possible. Failure to adequately shelter may result in serious injury or loss of life. Locations may be uninhabitable for weeks. Move to safe shelter before the wind becomes hazardous. So it's about 8.30ish p.m. and we are really starting to get tropical storm weather pretty heavy. We've been on the outskirts for much of the afternoon into the evening until now. We've had several tornado warnings and so we just keep going to shelter every single time. It's getting pretty strong but my thoughts really do go out to South Florida though and everyone who was affected prior to it even getting close to us and I hope everyone is, uh, is, is safe down there and I hope recovery is quick uh, for sure. For sure. It's around 9 a.m. on Monday, September 11th, and the storm has pretty much passed, at least surrounding our shelter. The damage doesn't look too terrible, mostly like trees and brush. I haven't seen any really damage to infrastructure, really, so that's that's good. I have high hopes that hopefully my apartment's okay as well, but we'll see. We might be here for another day, depending on what their assessment of the damage is. Meanwhile, I'm gonna be eating muffins until I die. It's like day two of straight muffin supplies. The hurricane may not have damaged anything in my part of Florida, except for my diet.
It's 9.30 a.m. on October 8th, almost one month since Hurricane Irma made landfall in Florida. I just wanted to take the opportunity to kind of wrap everything up. Admittedly, after my team and I left the shelter, we didn't film a lot. The vast majority of the area lost power, which with no power obviously means no air conditioning. And no air conditioning in Florida is hell on earth. Without really the ability to cook, we were kind of limited to eating at whichever restaurants and fast food places just happened to be open. I'm talking hundreds of people waiting around the block to get into some of these places. Like Domino's. In what part of history are over a hundred people waiting outside for Domino's? That's how you know it's like the end of days. Even after power is restored, the majority of the grocery stores in the area lost all of their frozen and refrigerated stock. So no meat, no dairy. When your normal means of doing things, like your normal routine is interrupted, it's very uncomfortable. My heart truly goes out to everyone in Puerto Rico, what the people of Dallas have been through and are still going through, and any other place that's been affected by any of these hurricanes recently. But that pretty much wraps everything up and I hope you've enjoyed this truly unnecessary adventure. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.